What's going on guys, it's Daniel. Welcome to the refurbishing of four, uh, four pairs of shoes that I found from the trash and we're going to refurbish them, get them nice and clean. Hopefully they turn out well and we're going to put them on eBay and get them to a new home. So let's do it. The shoes that we've got, so we've got the Reebok here with the NBA logo, we've got the Asics. Uh, multi-functional cleats here we've got these moto sprint uh, bike boots and we've got the Jordans here as well I do have a couple other pairs of shoes I still need to clean up and stuff but I'm not going to do that today I'm just going to get this done for today so let's get to it So I'm going to start with some dishwashing liquid and water and toothbrush and we're going to start with these and see how we can get these to This pair of shoes here are done, but they really didn't turn out the best that I thought they would. Um, so I'm probably going to flog these off for about 20 bucks. Um, they would have gone for maybe 50, but just the condition they're in, I'm thinking maybe $25 on them now. So I'm going to put these outside, and we're going to keep on going with these ones. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the Jordans here, and we're going to try and get these done as quickly as possible. The yellowing I don't think is going to come out, but we'll see what we can do with this here. It's called Gumption. This is like the best stuff to clean anything with. It just gets stuff out instantly. It's just amazing. Anyway, I'm going to carry on and we're going to keep on trying to do this. So let's go. Let's get straight into it.
we still have it good. But what, why do you say it's better than PayPal? Like, what, what is your reasoning? Okay, time to move on to the Rebox. Now, yeah, this is what they look like before. And we're going to go straight into this and hopefully they turn out pretty good. Alright, so this is how they turned out. Like Not too shabby. Right, let's say it's 30%, right? So let's say it's, you know, $8 or whatever, right? So I'm back. Okay. What's going on guys? The battery died and it's been I don't know, a couple hours so far. I'm almost done and I've got the last shoe to go so I'll just keep you guys along with me. Hopefully that's the best I can do. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on.
All right. So these are the ASICs. This is how they turned out. They turned out pretty well after a good scrub of the gumption. Um, still got some yellowing on the bottom and some brown dirt on the bottom, but to be fair, that's pretty good compared to how they were. So I'm happy with this. We're going to let them dry, let everything dry out, and then we're going to show you the final result after everything's dried and cleaned up, looking better. So. Without further ado, peace, and I'll see you when it's all dry. Alright guys, welcome back. I am finally done with these shoes. It took about a day or two days to dry, because they were just soaked. Um, they're finally dry, and this is their final result. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about how these shoes turned out, and... Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. These are the Jordans. I think these are like maybe the second or third pair of shoes I restored. They turned out okay. The yellowing on the bottom didn't necessarily come out too much, but it came out enough to the point where it looks a little bit better, but it's not that big of a deal. The side of it is a little bit still yellow, but the main shoe leather part is pretty much all white. And then we've got the Asics. These ones that, these ones were really dirty, as you guys remember. On the bottom, they were completely muddy. Um, I picked these up out of the trash, as well as them, in a recent video. And now I've finally restored it, I'm going to try and sell them all. And I was happy with the way these come up. Um, they came up looking really nice and bright and they stand out a lot more now. So that's what I was aiming with these, which is pretty good. Now these were a kind of a bust. These motor boots I found on the side of the road there's a black pair that sold for 50 bucks in kind of better condition than what these ones are in. Um, and so I'm thinking I should get maybe $20 in the condition that they're in. Maybe a bit less. Um, we'll wait and see. And then these are the Reeboks. These were my favourite. This was my favourite find. It's just such a shame it doesn't fit me. Because if these, if these had fit me, I would keep them. They're a size 9. I'm a size 11, so it's a bit of a fat rip. But, it's a nice shoe. They definitely came up well. Um, there's a couple bit of scuff marks on the front there that I couldn't get off. But, majority of this bottom bit here came off, like, in terms of the yellowing. And the duration of how shit it looks compared to now it looks a lot better um, so yeah all right that's going to wrap it up for this video guys if you enjoyed let me know what you think about it in the comments below and what your favorite shoe that i restored was also if you guys enjoy these videos let me know if you want to see more because i have a few pairs of shoes that i still need to restore so maybe i can make a video out of that for you and if you guys are any if any of you guys are watching this are resellers hit the sub button and the notification bell because I'll be bringing out more videos and trash picking videos reselling related videos what sold videos in the future to come until then stay blessed stay thrifting peace Never let them tell you you can't do it Hard times but you're gonna get through it I promise you cause I've been there Got up and I put my mind to it They told me no but I told them yes And I used to feel all alone so depressed But I fought back now I smile again If I ever fail I'ma just try again